Welcome on in. So we certainly have seen storms pop up in Cakeland in recent weeks, like what you're seeing here. My goodness, the tornado over mm. in the city of Andover. That was an EF3 ripping through homes and injuring some folks. I will say very picturesque because we saw so many different clips of video from storm chasers to people out in the community grabbing some drone footage here. Even you, Jack, I mean, you, you got alerted what your daughter let you know about the storm. <laughs> it was funny. We just got back from vacation. I went yeah. out to see my new granddaughter in Wisconsin so last Friday. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. And uh, about, uh, oh, I, I think it was about 8 o'clock, my yeah. daughter says, Dad, uh, and sent me this picture. <laughs> Dad, that looks like a, a real bad uh, situation coming up. So we ran out the door. We're on the north side of Derby, by the way. Right. And that's what we saw. And then about two or three minutes later, this is what we saw. <laughs> It oh was already goodness. down on the ground. That oh was a gosh. very quickly dropping funnel cloud, which became a tornado and unfortunately strengthened right over Andover and uh, southeast Wichita. So, you know, you have to really keep on your guard this time of year. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. we've already seen just over 100 tornadoes in the state of Kansas in 2022. And our average is 96 a year so yeah. we're already above average and in wow. texas yeah they're just ahead of us at 155 but we are second in the country as far as uh, tornadoes go this year i think so far. some people very curious i mean just a couple of minutes between that first picture and the second how do these things form how does it really work well it's all to do with unstable air of course yeah. you have warm and moist air at the surface cold and dry aloft and that warm and moist air gets very buoyant and sure. just wants to go upwards, forming the thunderstorms. But another element is called wind shear. Mm. And uh, oh, as you look behind here. it, yeah. behind me here, you can see that uh, they've got that little football there, I guess. <laughs> but the wind shear means that we have a rapid change in speed and direction with height. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It starts off horizontally in that, but okay. as the thunderstorm builds up, we see the strong vertical updrafts that kind of turns that spin into a vertical direction. The thunderstorm okay. starts to spin as a supercell. Mm -hmm. And then you know how a skater uh, can spin faster if she pulls her arms yeah. in? Yeah. That's how a tornado works. Okay. As the rotation of the thunderstorm narrows down to the area of that tornado, that is when uh, you see the strong winds, 100, 200 miles an hour. Well, so. for sure. I mean, it, it's unfortunate to see them, but an interesting phenomenon for, I think, and for you witnessing it, what, the first time in person? That is the first time I've actually seen a tornado in person, believe it or not. A meteorologist for how long? And then seeing uh, it for the first time is pretty remarkable. I've been a meteorologist for 40 years, so uh, it, it's been quite a while. Amazing. I love it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate learning from you. If you all have questions for Jack, we're going to try to see if we can get more of them answered here uh, on tomorrow for Good Morning Kansas at 6 and 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Head over to our Facebook and Twitter pages right now. Put the questions up. We want to hear from you guys and we'll see if we can get everything knocked out for you. We want you to feel a little more educated, a little brighter here on Good Morning Kansas. Stay with us.